back where we left off, Wall of Spears. Which I don't have to worry about tapping. Skate zombies. Another useless creature. Because he's got protection from black and a 2-3 for striking wall. Oh well. Flood you. And once again, the game tapped my island. I have four islands. Okay, so flood. Bonk, bonk, you. Done. Attack with the zombies. And now giant spider. Paying very careful attention to not tap my islands. Go. Done. Oh, that I wasted a turn. Dang it, why do I do stupid stuff like that? Forest, thank you. Elven Riders. No, I need to see Elven Riders. I think they can be blocked by walls. Oh well. Elven Riders. One, two, one, two, three. Done. Okay. Flood the Wall of Spears. Attack with the Skate Zombies. And the Giant Spider. You're going to block. This is bad. Oh, never mind. You have protection from black. Why am I an idiot? I'm not paying very much attention to what's going on in the game. Okay. Flood. The Dervish. Done. Thank you. Another forest. Flood. The Wall. Thank you. Now attack with the team. Go. 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 One, two, three, four. I can get the crawl worm in on the action too. Forest, forest. No, I tapped an island. Why would I tap an island? Oh well. And I tapped the forest. I'm stupid. If you're wondering why I'm stupid, you leave the forest untapped just in case I need fog for whatever reason. You leave the island untapped in case I need to flood. I failed to do either. another forest. Okay, so now I flood the Wall of Spears and I flood the Whirling Dervish and then I slam home with a whole bunch of bad guys and he's going to block the Crawl Worm. Boom. And he's going to die. Boom! And this is a terrible hand, but watch me start with it anyway. He was playing a lot of green cards and pestilence. So let's play a forest and let's psychic venom the forest. Although that was stupid of me. Because he can get green mana from the Felwar stone. Uh, let's play another island. There's a lot of creatures in early magic that have Swamp Walk and Forest Walk, so you want to lay off playing Swamps and Forests if you don't need to. Phantom Monster! But, oh well. We'll play as we are. I was playing a game the other day, and I had, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and play a Forest... We'll pop out those iron root tree folk and swing over this head. I was playing a deck and I didn't have any cards I wanted to play of a third color. I was making a two color deck, but I still didn't have enough land, so I had to add a third color of land. And my choices were blue, white, or green. I was playing a red and black deck. If you now green and black, I'm sorry, green and blue. You don't want to play those as your extra lands, because me, green will have all kinds of forest walk creatures. 
Blue has creatures like Dan Dan and Sea Monster that can't attack unless the, you control an island. So you don't want to open yourself up to those kinds of attacks. And... Oh, how do I want to handle this thing here? Oh, I don't want to attack. Go ahead and give me some zombies. And get rid of my ability to boomerang if I want to. But white, there are very few creatures that care if, you know, the, uh, you have a planes in play. And so I, I foolishly put green in my deck, and the first deck I went up against and sealed was a big bad forest walking deck. They forest walked all over me. So, and then when it when the first mat, uh, game ends, you have a choice to go in and edit your deck, and I didn't pull out the forests. In fact, I, I even started the match against the next guy. There we go, Prodigal Sorcerer, come into play. And uh, finally, after the first game there, I went back in and removed... Ah, oh, crap. I hate Pestilence so much. And he uses that to do it. And I don't have boomerang mana up. Throw down an island. No, no. What do I want to do here? I want to kill him, but I can't right now. I don't have any way to get past his defenses. If I attack with the Phantom Monster, he blocks with the Giant Spider, Ho-Hum. If I attack with... I do wonder what happens if I attack with the Phantom Monster. He blocks with the Giant Spider. Iron Root Tree Folk. He doubles up with... No, he wants to kill the Craw Worm. The Craw Worm, he's going to put the Rajan Spirit in the Wall of Spears and then block. Oh, well, Balls to the Wall. Let's see what it does. And I'll throw Skate Zombies in for good measure. He does double up on the Craw Worm. I can just animate the Craw Worm. But I can't kill both of those bad guys. But I want to get rid of the Giant Spider, so this is fine. I can do both. Yeah. Let's boomerang the Wall of Spears. That gets that out of the way. And I lost them, but that's cool. And I'm going to save Animate Dead until I need to pull back the Crawl Worm or something like that. Pestilence. I'm lucky right now he's only got three black mana available. I have lost flying. Who cares? Unless you've got something cool on your block here, you're dead. Ooh, two blockers. Crap, not what I wanted to do. But you've got two blockers and I've got three creatures, which means you're dead. Go! Oh my. Okay, well, one, two, and a lot. I won the match. It only took 20 minutes. And next up we'll be facing Sir Pierce. No! I don't... Okay, that's just showing you their pictures. That's Rye. I hold the Tome of Winners, and your name is not in it. Ooh, burn. And Traiton, should I mount your skin on the wall or use you as a rug? Pretty badass. Save tournament. Save as... Blue. Saved. And that's the end of this video.